Hi guys, welcome. Um, a friend of mine gave me this spot. Um, it's a it's a known spot this week actually. I've seen a few people posting about it um, for Sturgeon. Um, been here about two hours. I'll, I'll show you what I caught. Um, nothing major, big, but um, these these sturgeons do add up. They're pretty good money, and I am hoping. If I, if I fish all day, well I'm not going to fish all day, but if I fish a few more hours um, on and off today, hopefully I can land a trophy. Um, I've been told a lot of trophies are coming out. Um, I'm at clip 19, uh, casting into that tree shadow right in front, and I'm at uh, 157. I'll show you on the map where it is. It's a bit of a pain to be honest to get here. Um, you can go all the way around here, and what I, what I like to do is just... Um, go down to here and then drive up here and then just walk across here seems the best way to get here um, I'll show you guys the setup um, oh no, that's the wrong rod um, so I'm just using a basic bottom fishing rig um, this seems to be the setup everyone's using for the spot um, I'm on the 84 kilo line um, using a West Hill frame sinker um, one um, ultra serious free hook um, it's a carp hook this actually I'm not sure this is the best hook to use here um, but because I'm using the uh, natural mole crickets I guess you've got no choice um, these are a bit of pain bit of a pain to get hold of um, I, I actually had to buy some I think they're about two dollars for 30 uh, you can harvest them but they are they are a pain to get hold of. Um, bit bit of a rip off to be honest with you. Um, should should be cheaper, but what can I say? It is what it is. And uh, this PVA slash ground bait is the uh, the um, rapeseed, zebra mussel, um, chopworm, the nut mixture, and the crab and mussel. Um, I will link everything in description, guys. Um, so you'll be able to see it. Let's just take this fish here quickly. Um, the bite rate, as you can see, they, you don't need to catch that many of these fish because they do add up. Um, just lately on the game, just seems to be pretty dead. So I've, I've been enjoying the sturgeon fishing, to tell you the truth. Um, I'm not going to lie, a lot of people are saying this spot's super hot, but for me it's been so-so. Um, it can, can depend, though, on the weather and stuff, so... You've got to keep that um, in mind as well. But yeah, lately on the game, um, everywhere just seems just a little bit dead, to be honest with you. I'm still trying to find a really, really hot spot. But here you go, guys. Hope Hopefully this video helps you a bit. And um, hopefully by next week I can find some really hot spots so we can all make some good um, silver. But if you've got any questions or comments, guys, um, drop them down on YouTube. And until next time, guys, tight lines.